on. I'm gonna figure out if we're wrapping up high school now. I actually remember. But Julia Ares is our main character, and she is destined to be a little bit of a heartbreaker but she had her heart broken first by her first girlfriend who ended up going to prom with her brother while they were dating and then said like sorry not sorry i don't even care they had a lot of drama julia i think kissed someone else everything's been crazy okay I'm living for this LP and I'm not even Swifty. You don't have to do a Swifty to love this LP. It's just inspired uh, and the vibes are fun. Okay, so here's our girl, Juliet. She is a little bit of a, a, a lover and not a fighter, although she did literally fist fight her brother at prom. So, you know, but they've made up. They're besties, okay? So she's a serial romantic. She has to have three first kisses and she's had two. She technically did kiss someone while she was still dating her girlfriend, but technically her girlfriend uh went to prom with her brother so you know it's messy no one was in the right okay it was a gray area uh but we've broken up with her and now we are on to we finally have kind of like turned our eyes to our next beau romeo who i think is her end game unfortunately they're gonna have to be a second chance romance because they're not gonna stay together when she moves they're gonna have to break up it's gonna be so sad and then she's gonna you know sow her wild oats but that's kind of her game plan this is steven her brother steven gives kenergy if you've seen the barbie movie he's like uh he's like the beach ken okay his job is horse and he loves horses and that's about that's about his thing he loves horses he did take his sister's girlfriend to prom he didn't know they were dating in his defense uh but the girlfriend did know they were siblings so that was kind of trash and this is drew debut drew debut is uh our mother's fiance um and uh and her second gonna be her second husband uh mary eras is over here mary was our first gen and she probably needs a makeover because she's a mom and she kind of looks the same age as her teenage daughter kids um but she you know what she just is a youthful face all right that's just part of her vibes but drew debut has kind of likes to hang out in the kids room it's I don't know why it's just kind of like he likes the bunk bed up here he likes watching tv up here I don't know why he just really enjoys watching the news up on this bed so he hangs out with them. He's gonna wake up his daughter. Okay, bro, why don't we watch the news in here? The, like you could watch, like you can watch the news literally anywhere. And then you can let your daughter like sleep or whatever. Oh, she just hugged your brother. Ryder Eras is their dad, Ryder. Uh, we don't talk to him. He went out on a date with another man uh, while he was still with his wife. It was drama. Uh, and he also flirted with people at the bar while his wife was there. Mary's spotlight is fading. Mary is actually like a level three celebrity. So the fact that her spotlight's fading is kind of sad. She's a B She's still a solid B-lister. She's going to be fine. Darby is our best friend and wants to come hang out. So obviously you can come over and hang out, Darby. But our parents are getting married. We're getting married this episode. Our girl ages up on Thursday, but we're getting... We're getting, we're getting together. We're getting married Wednesday night, I'm going to say. So we're getting married Wednesday. Oh, we can't add a wedding at all? Oh, because I'm not on the right sim. Okay, we're going to, we're going to get married on Wednesday. Where is it? Okay, yeah, here's the calendar. We're getting married on Wednesday. Today is Drew's birthday. So happy birthday, Drew. We're getting married Wednesday night, um, probably after school. And we are, we got the bride and groom. <laughs> The Sim of Honor. We don't have all of that. Honestly, I feel like it's better just to have guests. Um, but my daughter is going to be inviting her boyfriend. Well, not boyfriend. Her friend, Romeo. And that's where they're going to get together. are going to get together at a wedding. But the kids are just going to invite. We're really going to only invite our kids. And like each of them can invite one friend to the wedding. So we're going to invite Juliet. We're going to get invite Romeo Rose. Steven and then Steven can invite one friend. I think Steven's who is Steven's closest friend? Hold on. Hold up. I gotta figure out who Steven's best friend is. Steven, who's your best friend? Is it Jacqueline? Okay, he likes Jacqueline. Okay, cool. So that's fine. We can invite Jacqueline. 
So that's what's going to go down. And then while they're there with their friends, you know, maybe Julian and Romeo get together. But unfortunately, when she becomes a young adult, she wants to move out of the house and they're going to be long distance and it's not going to work. So she's going to break up with him because it's going to be too painful. It's all happening. I know I gave all the spoilers, but it's going to be fun. I promise. Okay. We're going to have fun with it. So anyway, I'm going to make this wedding happen. Now we're making the wedding event. Ask Juliet to be the flower girl. I'm just, I don't know. I'm like over all of having these things. Um, sometimes it's easier just to get the wedding done and not have a million people walk down the aisle. The officiant never works. I enjoy this pack because I like weddings, but honestly, I don't think you really need it. Um, but I like all the stuff in the pack, like the Kaz and the world. So I kind of put up with some of the glitches, but mostly I just don't use any of the, the wedding people because I'm like, it's their own glitchy and I don't like them. And it makes everything take forever. We're not inviting Ryder, obviously our ex-husband. We're inviting Romeo Rose and the girl Jacqueline and Juliet. And that's it. Just the four people and the bride and groom because they're kind of like eloping. Selected activities. We're going to exchange our vows. We're going to have some some dancing. And a spousal kiss. And that's just honestly it. We don't even need a cake. We don't care. What, uh, wedding outfits. I think we're going to have to change her wedding dress. That is her first wedding's outfit. So we need a different dress from the first wedding. Awkward. Girl's got literally her first wedding dress on. Girl, no. Okay, we got to wear something else. We got to wear something else. I do like that it's minty green though. That's really cute. Um, but no, you can't, you can't do this. Okay. We're going to put green in there too. Just for fun. We're going to put long dresses because she's just a classic little girly. Um, but yeah, this is her second wedding, obviously, but with her true love. She, Drew was her high school like crush and she never talked to him because she was too nervous until finally years later, he ended up teaching her son horse riding and they reconnected. So flipping cute, actually. This is very cute. I think we're going to go with this. She still has the cowboy boots on. That's so cute. We're going to not do that, though. <laughs> I, it's so cute, but, like, not it. Okay. We're going to just wear, like, normal little shoes. Um, We're going to remove her leg hair. Just for the event. Your arm hair can stay. It's cute. I also have arm hair. I also have leg hair, but, I, you know, I shave it. Personally, that is my choice. But you don't have to. No one says you need to. Okay. And then maybe for hair, we could like do a little something different. Put a little braid in or, you know, like add a little thing. I don't know. I think I like the little braid. Um, and as you can see, she has a few wrinkles, but nothing too crazy. We might have to give her a bit more of a makeover. But I like this look. I like that she kind of, it's her normal hair, but with like a little, little jazzy extra um, her eyelashes disappeared. Oh, well, then we definitely need to give her a CC makeover because obviously. Um, is there any like maybe earrings or something we should give her? Maybe like some little wedding. Oh, the butterflies would be so cute. Butterfly. Okay, we'll make them little green, little green butterflies maybe. Oh, that's so cute. You can never use these because of the lashes. So the fact that we have green butterfly earrings is because we don't have lashes on right now. Um, I'm okay with that though. They're so cute. Um, but yeah, huge fan of the dress. Thank you. Actually, we might change the butterfly earrings to like a different green. Maybe, or maybe I guess white because it's wedding. We'll do white butterfly earrings. This is going to be her last marriage. It will be her last marriage, as far as I know, unless the Sims go crazy. Looks like Sabrina Carpenter, too. Ooh, cute. I love that. I love Sabrina Carpenter. Um, but yeah, they're getting married. I love it. Cheeky uh, Blondette, thank you so much for the sub. Oh my gosh, Bim's Potato, thank you so much for the hand heart and the tiny diny. Mercury, thank you so much for the rose. Appreciate you guys. Okay, that's her outfit. I love his. Cute, cute, cute. We'll do color. We'll do green. For the, actually, we'll do like wedding dress code. It's boho. I like that. And then the location. I, where did we, I feel like we got married. Like, where do we get married? 
I think we got married somewhere. Did we get married somewhere random? Where did we get married last time? I literally don't remember. This looks cute. Did we get married here? Center Park. It looks like there's a wedding venue here. I think we're going to go with this. And it's Friday. So it's at 3 o'clock is when the kids get home from school. So I'm thinking we'll do like a 6. So we have like 3 hours to kind of get them sorted. Or maybe 5. We'll do 5. We only need 2 hours maybe, hopefully. So will get us a couple things to do. But that's going to be our wedding date is tomorrow. We got tomorrow for the wedding. Tomorrow, And there, here's Teardrop, our horse, obviously. And we have Governor Mittens, who is our cat. She's a sweet baby angel, and we love her. Juliet's hanging. I think her friend's coming over. Yeah, her friend's here. So go, go like, you know, go chat with her. Tell her some jokes. Oh, my gosh. Your brother's hanging out with your bestie, girl. Go get her. Go save her from your brother. Steven just became acquaintances with Governor Mittens. Did you not know Governor Mittens before now? Why are, Why is she watching? We're going to tell Darby a dramatic story. And ask Darby about her romantic... Oh, no, 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 no. I thought a romantic interest meaning, like, who is she romantically interested in? I don't want to, like, have a romantic... Oh, my gosh! Darby's flirty! Are you into my brother? Uh, Darby! Oh my gosh, does Darby have a crush on Steven? Oh, Julia has work in an hour. We're going to... I guess we'll go to work. Dang it, Julia. That's okay, though. She is aging up in this episode, though. It's so exciting. Um, Steven Darby? Do we ship this? Look at her looking at him. Darby! That's my best... Did he just reject her? What is happening? <gasps> um. Um. What? Okay. Girl, don't, don't. What are you doing? What are you doing? Darby, 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 Darby. Let's go inside. Darby! Oh my God. What is happening? Steven and Darby? Darby. 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 Stop trying to flirt with my brother. Darby, get inside. <laughs> Darby. <laughs> Let's get some. Okay, Darby's hanging out with us now. Darby, what are you doing? Why are we like this? This is so wild. I kind of love it. Um, we're going to go look up really quick the requirements of this challenge. Um, so I remember what I'm working on right now. So the requirements of this era are we need to complete the serial romantic aspiration. We're already working on that. We need to experience at least two significant breakups. We will be having at least two. Um, the first one with our first girlfriend and the one with Romeo. We have three best friends. We definitely have that. Um, join a social career like social media or entertainment. We will be doing that soon. Max charisma and comedy. And have children with your teenage love. So that's what we're all working on. We're going to watch a TV show together. Let's watch TV together. Darby, get your butt in here. We're watching comedy. Don't watch Cooking Channel. What are you doing? Watch comedy. There we go. We're going to watch it together, too. After that. Go to work. Oh, shoot. She's got work. Okay. Well, I guess we're not going to be watching comedy because we got to go to work. Ah! Steve was probably scared to be romantic with any of his sister's friends. Oh, 100%. He was, like, nervous. He was like, ah, my sister's right there. No. No. Oh my God, Darby. Darby is feeling so silly. She Also, she came over when her bestie had work and she knew it. She's like, can I stop by? You're like, oh, Darby. She's so sad. Look at, look at Flip and Mary sitting next to her like, hey, honey, what's going on? Watching TV. All right, but we need to seriously give Mary a bit of a pass full edit mode. We need to give Mary a bit of a makeover because girl needs to look like a little bit more uh, adult here. So we're going to give her a bit of a makeover. She's like, don't worry, work, hang, hang with me. <laughs> don't worry about work, hang with me. You're so right. She's still like that. Okay, let's get our girls a little bit more like of a of a face with a bit more um age to it so i love her little freckle look but we need kind of like 
I don't know. Like, here's our freckles. There's which one do we have on for right now? Okay, we have this one. I'm wondering which one has is it Grim Cookies? Grim Cookies has like one with like a lot of age on it. Hmm. Okay. We might have to choose something else with the freckles. Okay. Okay. That one kind of works for me. We need to add freckles back to her face though. She, girl's got freckles. Where are they? Right, maybe like here. There you go. You can also get kind of more freckles as you age. But I think I'm gonna go with, or maybe this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go here. She's definitely got like a bit more old age vibes now. Um, she doesn't have her lashes anymore. I, I'm okay with the no lashes kind of vibe. Here. Okay, I think she looks a little older. We could also do a different, like, main outfit. Maybe kind of like this. Or, like, one of these guys. Oh, that one's cute. Or this even in, like, green. No, she's just such a, like, a little, like, dress kind of girl. You know what yeah. I mean? She's just, that's her vibe. She's always going to wear dresses like this. But I feel like maybe she needs more of, like, a maxi dress. Ooh, maybe something like this in green. Yeah. Little little fearless girly. Give her maybe her white boots because she also rocks a lot of white boots. Kind of maybe put her curly hair in like a like a ponytail or something. Or I don't know. I feel like she'd keep it back and out of her face. You know, because she's running around, she's taking care of kids. She's still a celebrity. Let's just you know make sure we all know that she's still a celebrity oh i mean her hair's a lot more straight but she does look so so like mo mother right now with the like curly hair oh she's looking so mother i love it oh she can even have the bangs i feel like i'm good with this honestly she's giving more mom i love it she's a maxi girl maxi dress girly uh, you should have named her Allison because that's Taylor Swift's middle name. Well, I am not basing, I didn't want anything to do with Taylor Swift whatsoever. This is not about Taylor's life. This is not a representation of her love interests, her life, her anything. So I don't want anything associated with actual Taylor Swift. This is all about the characters and the music she's created, the worlds that she's made for us. And that's where I'm living and having my characters live. So Mary is a, is a name in a song from this debut album, so we're doing that. And that's kind of like where I'm drawing the line. This isn't Taylor Swift, this isn't Taylor Swift's family. She's not gonna date Harry Styles. None of the generations will date Harry Styles. None of people are in Taylor's life are gonna be in this. This is all made up based off of the music and the genres and the, the you know, the creativity. Um, so that's why I didn't name her Allison, but Allison's a beautiful name. I do like, I do like that name too. Um, but we're gonna have, yeah, I think, I think this is good. We're gonna have her like hair kind of like that, but now we have kind of this new older look. Maybe for her jammies, we kind of do like a rock a little bit of an older jammy vibe. Uh, for party, we might want to go like a different look here. Little maxi, maxi dress vibes. Yeah, I liked one of you said Ma she's more of a maxi dress girly now. And I like that idea. I think she would become kind of a maxi dress girly. Let's put in green because that's the, the theme of the album covers, you know, like a green. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's perfect. And then we got our sun, our hot weather wear. Again, we kind of want more of like a maxi dress vibe. She's just a, she's an older. She's not yeah, older. She's probably in her mid 30s to late 30s is my guess. Close, closing in on her 40s there, if not 40. Um, so yeah, I love yeah. it. Speak Now dates a werewolf. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> Again, nothing to do with Taylor Swift's uh, actual life will be involved in this, uh, in this series. So there we go. Mary's done. She's looking so cute. I love it. Change us some more as well. You know, I'm too lazy. <laughs> I was too lazy. She's never swam. I've never seen that woman in there somewhere. I honestly forgot that she had somewhere. So that's why I didn't change it. <laughs> well, she's looking amazing for going on 40. She is. She's she's looking good. She definitely got 
pregnant really young. So I, I, I believe she's probably, but her kids are like teenagers about to be adults. So, and she is an adult. No, she's still a young adult. So I, you know what? I'd say she's probably in her mid to late thirties is my guess. So yeah, pretty crazy. Uh, and here's Steven coming down her son. Hey, Steven, you know, Hey, Stephen Darby's like, why does Stephen not like me? This is so awkward. She turned the TV off and she's like sad. Girl, are you not walking in on Stephen in the bathtub? Oh my God. Ouch. Girl. <laughs> and again, Mary's also watching TV in the kids' room. I feel like I should just delete the TV in the kids' room and the, the parents would stop being involved in their house, in their room. You know what I mean? Like, stop it. Anyway. Uh, there we go. All right, Steven's in the sh shower and literally our, like, friend walked in on him in the in the bath. So, that is so, like, like, brother, like, like, best friends, older brother vibes in, like, books. Like, accidentally running into him in the bathroom. That is so, so YA of her. Uh, it's kind of funny, honestly. I love that Drew's asleep. It's like 11. And Mary, what are you doing, Mary? Mary, why don't you clean this up? Clean up the manure. Has this been cleaned? It's slightly dirty. Why don't we ask our guy here? Hey, now the horse bed's in use. By who? By who? Are you good? Okay, teardrop's good. Tear teardrop's mainly, oh my God, Julia's been promoted. She's now a macro influencer. Let's go. Go off, girly pop. I love that. I'm so proud of you. Okay, let's come in and watch. Uh, we're gonna watch our comedy show since she's uh, needs some fun. So we're gonna watch our comedy show for like just a little bit and then we're gonna go to bed because we got school tomorrow, obviously. But I love that her and Darby are cracking each other up, hanging out. Oh, they just get a sentiment together. They're so cuties. I love them. They are really best friends. And look at Mary just cleaning up stuff. My, my B-lister queen. Just living her dreams here. She still looks like a baby. She still has such a baby face, but I think that's like her vibe. But she's got baby face. Juliet's obviously got her mother's hair texture, which we love as well. Um, Drew's out. He's got to use the toilet, and he's hungry. You can also eat that in a second. Although the cat's probably gonna try to eat it. Um, but we're chatting with Darby. We're watching our TV show, trying to gain our skill. How are we doing on our skills, by the way? We're at level six of comedy and level six of charisma, which are our, our goals. So that's great. Those are going well. We're over halfway there. Oh God, it went it went bad. So it's spoiled. You're not allowed to eat that, Drew. You are not eating that. No way, no how. You can get other leftovers, okay? None of that. Okay, Darby's flirty again. Darby, are you? Darby, are you crushing on us? Are you talking about our brother right now? Girl, you gotta... Girl, stop talking about your crush on my brother to me. It's so weird, Darby. We're gonna go take a, a thoughtful shower. Maybe get some inspiration. Darby, uh, stop talking about my brother like that. It's so weird. Uh, she's like, yeehaw. Oh my God, girl. Girl, 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 girl. One of them should ride the horse in the morning. Um, our brother does ride the horse pretty frequently. He probably has school in the morning, so he might not be able to do that. But okay, Darby headed out. She's like, I gotta go. I'm like, is it because my brother went to bed? Because I think that's why. I think that's why you went to bed. You left because my brother went to sleep and he wasn't hanging out with you. How's Governor Mittens? What's wrong? Is Governor Mittens like stuck? Felt like Governor Mittens was stuck. But yeah, it looked kind of like Governor Mittens was stuck and couldn't go to the bathroom. So, Governor Mittens is fine now. If ever anyone was wondering or worried, Governor Mittens is okay. Governor Mittens is good to go. All right, let's go to bed. Girly girl, let's go to bed. All right, whoa. We need to replace that. There we go. We're in bed now. Dad's like watching TV from sitting on the floor. He's such a little oddball. I love him. He's such a dork. He's sitting on the floor. He's telling the, the cat. He's giving the cat a hug autonomously. Aww. 
How could you not love this man? He's he's so sweet. He just is such a little animal lover. He wants to be friendly with Juliet. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Okay, let's play with the laser pointer and then we'll go to bed with our future wife. We're finally having a wedding. All right, Juliet, you gotta keep sleeping until school. So we call first cat was mayor, second was governor. Does that mean the next cat will be president Paws? I mean, possibly. I don't think, I think Juliet might have a dog though, um, to be a little sassy. Recap, we're doing an era's uh, challenge. Juliet is our main character. She had a girlfriend that kind of, you know, did her dirty, so they broke up. Uh, and now apparently her best friend is into her brother, but now she's kind of got a, she's got a crush on her other crush, which is Romeo. She's had a crush on Romeo since she met him. He was actually one of her first crushes, I think. Uh, but she ended up, things worked out with her girlfriend first. So she dated that girl first, but she's always had a thing for him. They've never really gone together. They've always stayed friends, but you know, nothing like a wedding to get two kids together. So what, that's what's going to happen. We're going to see him at school though. The available leftovers don't match Juliet's preferences. Oh God. Okay, let's have some breakfast then. Let's have some breakfast. We're gonna make a fruit salad. Oh my God, has she like cooked before? All right. What's your skill of cooking, girl? Level two, okay. She's cooked like a couple times. So she's not the worst. She's definitely not the best, but she's not the worst. Oh no, I thought the fruit salad would be quick and it was not quick enough. So now she's going to school hungry, which is not our favorite, but it's fine. We're going to go to school with Juliet and Steven and they're not going to have their fruit salad, but it is okay. I can see Juliet with a little terrier. Aww, that's cute. That would be cute to have a little terrier. I don't think I've gotten a lot of little dogs for, for my Sims. I feel like they always end, I always end up with big dogs for my Sims. So maybe maybe it's time to try a little dog. Teresa says the door the same way my cat does. So cute. Oh, that is very sweet. Did you get the school bug fist? No, the school bug has still not been fixed, I believe. So it might be some random people at school. Yeah. Janessa Greenberg. We don't know her. But luckily, Romeo Rose is still at school. It's a hot day. We should, you know, like, talk about dreams. Let's, like, talk to Romeo as if we're being like, hey, my parents are, you know, they told us to bring friends. Do you want to go to the go to the um, wedding with me? So she's asking him. They flirted a couple times in the last episode. So they, they are kind of a thing, but not really a thing. Oh, my God. He just got smacked in the face with a football. Probably because he was uh, looking at her. Redeemer. Look at him trying to impress her. Like, okay, cute. So cute. Um, let's share some like cute little photos. Oh. Huh. He's like practicing uh, football with the uh, with Misha Black. She did kind of have a thing with Misha Black. That was like who she kind of had a had a thing with the bad boy. He's kind of annoyed that we you know aren't as into him anymore, but <laughs> Um, but he's like one of our friends from like, oh my God, first kiss. Ah, we're going to have our first kiss at the wedding, but they are so like besties that have always been into each other. Like these, this is definitely best friends to lovers kind of vibes. Like, look, and he's immediately flirty looking at her. Like, come on. This is too cute. I can't wait to see those two in their castle. Oh, Lucy, same, same. Leave over. Okay, we got a couple little require like requests today. Uh, we've got our um, E Mitas asked for a stretch a while ago. Thank you for your patience. I'm gonna stretch my neck. And the Night Fury, you're doing amazing, sweetie. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's good to see you. Um, but yeah, he is definitely head over heels for her. That's so true. Oh, Romeo is loving on Juliet for sure. She's getting a little food. Oh, we've got Clara Fires, who's a student, hanging out. Look at the Romeos hanging out together. Romeo Knight and Romeo. <laughs> Romeo Rose are friends. Um, where is Steven? Of course, he's in the bathroom. He tends to like come to school and need a shower or something. But we're having lunch or breakfast next to the boys who are working on their exam prep, I think, because it is Wednesday. So I think they do exam prep today after school. But we're in class. Okay, okay. Luna Roca. We don't know her. We don't know this girl. Anyone over here? Okay, this is our friend. Bestie Darby is still here. We got Clara, 
and Augustus and Misha. So like some of, oh, 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 and our friend Dory is here too. Okay. So some of your guys' Sims are still here. Some of them I either have gotten older and graduated or they, you know, the, the mod is like not working or whatever and it got bumped. But most of your guys' Sims are still here. So we love it. I love Sim Girlies. Hi, Elle. Welcome. Thanks for the follow. I'm glad you're here. And Emily loves Sim Girlies too. I do upload on YouTube. Just Davina. Go check it out. It's on my second channel. YouTube.com slash more Kelsey and PGK. Go hit the follow. We're almost up to date on this challenge, if not up to date on this challenge on that channel. So go look at it. Uh, here, Stephen thought he, there were just only primary and secondary colors. Now there are seven color co schemes, a wheel, and some associated values. Art was supposed to be easy class, but now there's just so much to memorize that Stephen doesn't know if he'll ever be ready to take a test on this, unless he makes a cheat sheet. Nah, he's going to just study hard. He's not a cheat sheet boy. Stephen now decides the straight and narrow is the best path. He pays close attention during class, writes down clear and easy to study notes, and generally does his best to prepare for the next exam. Same thing is happening to Juliet. She's also kind of a goody-goody. They're both goody-goodies. They would never make a cheat sheet. Maybe, maybe uh, you know, a new era. I bet Red Era would kind of maybe make a cheat sheet. I want one of them to be a little bit more chaotic. Um, definitely Rep Era would just be like, I don't care what people think about me. I'll do what I want. Aaron just became good friends with Steven. Oh, yeah, they're pretty good friends, too. Um, but let's, like, you know have a deep conversation we're just like chatting over oh my gosh she's feeling flirty dreamy eyes from crushing on someone nearby she literally does have a crush on romeo and i bet he does have a crush on her he's feeling flirty too look at them he just swapped to her seat <laughs> and they're gonna do like an inside joke oh my god she keeps wanting to give him a first kiss look it says ask a crush out she does want to ask him out they could like go on a date tonight maybe but i feel like Confess daydream. Oh my god, that would be pretty funny actually. Be like, I had a daydream about you. <laughs> She's also feeling great about an upgraded fridge and a deep social connection. Do you still have your food on you? No, she doesn't have her food on her. Look at them. They're so obsessed. Wait, you should flirt with them too. She's like chatting. Oh my god, look at these two. They just cannot stop. He he cannot sit still around her ro cannot sit still around her and has decided to go into a different room okay well in that case let's go get some lunch we'll get the senior lunch so we're gonna go we're gonna go get some lunch at school today gonna go get that lunch girl eh, eh, eh. look at romeo rose taking some cutie photos of himself she's ordering lunch steven's just you know, kind of walking around, watching funny videos with the other students. <laughs> he actually is older than her, so I might age him up sooner, actually. Um, I might age him up tomorrow. Uh, oh my gosh. Talk about the hot temperature. It's so hot outside. <laughs> she just doesn't even know what to say. <laughs> nope. Oh, he sat back down. Okay. Oh my god, look at them. They're so cute. Joke about some old times. Uh, maybe we should do like a cheeky little flirt. Oh, yeah, we should do a cheeky little flirt. They're so cute. What's up, Gem? How you doing? I get so attached to your sim so fast. I love how you make me wish for them to fulfill their dreams and really ready for them. Oh, thank you, Begotten. That's so sweet. I also um, have seen, uh, assuming your name is the same on the gallery, I've seen a lot of your, guys, your sims that you've submitted for my series. So thank you so much for that. Okay, let's talk about the cloudy weather. Be like, it's also so cloudy, though. <laughs> I love that she's like, it's so hot out. And then she's just like, just like you. <laughs> and then she's like, but so cloudy as well, obviously. <laughs> she's just double back. Thank you so much. I love creating them. Yeah, there's so many great ones. It's really fun to see all of them. And I really appreciate every time you guys submit your sims. So make sure to keep doing so. Oh my gosh. Is, did Romeo and I have a crush on him? Her? Because he's looking kind of devastated right now. After seeing her flirt with the other guy. <gasps> Devastation. All the, all the friend group drama is really, like, getting me. Uh, I love it. Romeo Rose just keeps walking away. But Darby's here. Let's tell her, like, a joke or whatever. I want to make some more jokes so that we can keep uh, 
keep up our comedy skills working on it. I love how she screamed. She was so excited to chat with us. And of course, she's feeling flirty because Steven's around over here. And she's like, oh my god, Steven's right there. <laughs> like, Darby, be chill. Darby, be chill. Not that we're not chill around our, our uh, bestie or our crushes as well, Darby. I don't blame you. Dreamy eyes from crushing on nearby. But she's feeling n nervous. What will Juliet say? Pineapple? No, just say hi. Oh, Juliet was so nervous. She's like, I can't believe I talked to him about the weather. Oh, they're sitting next to each other in this class. Oh my gosh. Look at her. She seemed really happy that she's sitting next to him. He's so cute. He also has freckles. Oh my God. So exciting. They're studying for their class with Ash, who I think is so cute because she used to be a student here at the high school. So I love that she's their teacher now. Julia is the girl who doesn't realize that everyone has a crush on her. Truly, she does not realize everyone has a crush on her. Um, she's going to realize, though. She's going to realize real fast and then be dating everyone uh, <laughs> very soon. Um, but, yeah. So the Sims stay playing musical chairs. Sophie, truly. I'm like, can they just sit down and talk for, like, two seconds? Please. Uh, please. It's fine, though. I'm fine. It's fine. We're all fine. It's fine. I'm not mad. Ooh, kick me. It's almost like grade school over again at some point in class. Some of the rougher classmates suddenly put a kick me sign on the back of a fellow student. Someone should stand up. Oh, yeah. He would make a scene. No, he'd tell the classmate directly. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. He's not going to out anyone to the teacher, but he would also talk to the classmate. So he's going to tell him. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. It was Janessa that had the kick me sign. Poor thing. Poor Janessa. Okay. Internet protocols. The school set up safety blockers on web pages to keep students from getting distracted or downloading viruses. Unfortunately, this means Juliet can't pull up the funny cat video she wanted to show the class. Hacking around the blockers would have serious consequences, but the cat video is hilarious. No, she'd leave it alone. I don't think she'd know how. Why did they just get a negative interaction? Romeo? Hello? Sometimes Social Bunny does wild things. I don't know if I want to see the messages. Steven, we should get together and hang out sometime. That's her brother. Okay, everyone says they're having a good time. We should hang out. Da, 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 da. Brent says, what's up, buddy? Okay, no Juliet's just been chatting with all of her friends. Okay, nothing from Romeo. Lunch, okay, that's a different Romeo. Yeah, Romeo's just not on... Are we just not friends on Social Bunny? No, we are friends on Social Bunny. Okay, he didn't say anything mean to her on Social Bunny, so I don't know. It might have been just a glitch. Um, Ash became the teacher. Yes, isn't that cute? I love that Ash is the teacher. I think it's so cute. She wants to finish writing a book because she's creative. Wait, that's so cute. I love that for her. Okay, class is over, and it's the end of the day, and it's Wednesday, so we need to go for school. And Steven, you need to like, just say you're not going to, is it work, business? Uh, we need, yeah, we need to tell them that we're not going to our after school activity today. Our, what did it, why does it say practice makes painful? Oh, he got, he got a football tossed in his face. The kids are going back home because they gotta get ready because the wedding is happening. So we need to get them sorted. Hello? Okay. I'm going to switch control to Julia. <laughs> um, but yeah. What challenge is this, Love Tay? It is the Eras Challenge. Uh, I was tagged in it on TikTok, so I started playing it and it's super fun. It's a 10 generation challenge. Each generation is themed after one of her albums. Okay. All right, let's pop. Up, up. There we go. Okay, let's make sure our girl is feeling up for everything. Her fun is going up. I mean, I feel like her fun, her sleep is more important than her fun. So let's go get her to sleep. Drew, his needs look great. Mary's at work. Girl, I feel like you need to like leave early because you got a wedding to be at in like a couple hours. Yeah, you got to leave work. Yeah. I don't care what her boss thinks. She's a literal celebrity. She can leave work if she wants. She's literally got, 
to be married today. So we're going to do that. Let's take a quick shower. Water conservation day. Um, no, it actually isn't because I don't care. <laughs> it is not water conservation day <laughs> because I said it's not. So we're going to go sing in the shower because <laughs> that's what mom likes to do. She likes to sing in her shower and we're going there wearing wedding ceremony starts soon. Okay. Yeah. You got to get back from practice, buddy. Okay. I don't make the rules. Actually I do. And you got to get back from practice. Go take a nap. Everybody's taking a nap. We got an hour before the wedding. We got to have everybody going. Okay. We got to have everybody set. We got to have them ready to roll. Mom, use the toilet. Like, get a snack. We got to make sure everything's good. Actually, Drew, can you finish that fruit salad? I doubt that he'll have enough time. But we're going to try anyway. Have like a quick meal or drink. Yeah. Just get like some... Just get like a little, I wanted her to have an orange juice. Yeah, get in a little orange juice. Drew's gonna finish up making this food maybe. He is like wanting to be a chef, so it makes sense. Although he's only cooking level three. <gasps> okay, are you ready to start? Yes, we're ready for the wedding. We're ready for the wedding. Thanks, new to posting. Uh, I still love her work dress. Oh, same, she looks so cute in it. Mary is getting married. Are you looking for new subs for your new rags to riches? Um, maybe you can add some. Hashtag Kelsey rags to riches. I haven't added any, but if you want to add some, maybe. Okay, here we are. Everyone's looking cute. Oh my God, look at Romeo. Look at us. What the flip are we wearing? Okay. I know it's boho themed, but like, let's. Okay. Let's quickly change our outfit to like a, f that's her, okay, her form, she doesn't have a formal outfit. Party outfit? That'll work. Okay, that's her outfit for the wedding. It's not that great. Steven, <sighs> dresser, change outfit. Yeah, this is his wedding outfit, looking good. Romeo, what's your changing outfit? MC dresser, change outfit. Yeah. Oh, he's looking sharp. Look at you, Romeo. Okay. Girl needs to be in her wedding dress. What is going on? <laughs> Put on your wedding outfit. Thank you. Okay. And then next we got our girl MC dresser change outfit. It won't be the one we wore to. It'll be this one. Okay. Yeah. That's pr I mean, listen, she looks like the bride. We can't have this. Okay. We got to change your outfit, girl. We got to change your outfit. <laughs> um, growing together is great. Yeah, you should definitely really add growing up. together. Okay, yeah, girl, you can't wear that. That's like to your own wedding, girl. Okay, we're going to have to find a different little fit. Okay, let's do... Okay, we need some gold. We need some glitter. We need some sparkle. Okay, this... Does this come in gold? Okay, this is kind of giving speak now. It's a little like long and mermaidy for it, but I like it. I like it. This is okay. It's a little not quite what I'd want. Hmm. Her mom, I mean, we could wear this again. We could wear this fit again. It would be cute, but it is her prom dress. And I feel like she deserves to wear something that like isn't her prom dress. <sighs> To the wedding. Let's keep, let's put yellow. Mm, okay, we'll find like a cute little yellow fit. Quick, 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 quick. I mean, this would be cute. She could wear her mom's dress, but different. Oh, cute. Oh, this one's cute, but probably not wedding appropriate. This one's okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I wish there were more gold sparkly dresses, to be honest. I wish there were more options. This one's cute. Does it come in like a more... This one's kind of cute in gold. It's for, for my other Let's Play, but it'll work. This one's cute. I think it's a little too short. This one's cute. But not quite right. I feel like she's got to rock a short dress, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. 
this is so hard. I feel like I'm gonna have to just make the judgment call and put her in her. I'm gonna put her in her um prom dress. It's just too cute. I think it's great. She's gotta just she'll just wear a prom dress twice. Hopefully this will be a better experience than her prom. You know, Laura, I thank you for the fire. I appreciate it. And Nara Bloom, thank you so much for reminding me to save, please. I'm gonna save right here. And what the heck? What are the Sims back in their old ovens? <sighs> so annoying. <laughs> I have to change everybody's outfits again. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. This is fine. Okay, we're gonna change you. Sims dresser, change outfit. This one, and then you are gonna dresser, change outfit. This one, and we all look great. Okay, we look like ourselves. Everybody's great. We're having a wedding. Okay, and this is the wedding. Yes, this is so cute. This is perfect. It's outdoor. It's green. I don't know when this was set up, but I love it. This is perfect. Okay, so let's have everybody gather for the wedding. Please take your seats. Yeah, everybody gather. Everyone sit. Drew, why don't you, like, I don't know, go exchange vows and kiss? Yeah, go do it. Let's let's get this going. Look at, oh, look at the kids running down the aisle. So cute with their dates. They both had a date. You better sit with me. <gasps> he is! Oh, my God, he's sitting with us. She's sitting a little further from him, so. Drew aged up. <laughs> I forgot that it was his birthday. Sorry, Drew. He is a little sad because we forgot his birthday. I'm sorry. That's really awkward. And I apologize. But anyway, back to the wedding, right? Mary. Okay, Drew, are you gonna? Okay, no, he's aged up. He's like, yeah, aged up. This is great, I guess. All right, everybody's waiting for you guys to come here. So get your butt over here and exchange vows and kiss. Juliet's waiting for the wedding next to her crush. They're looking good together. Oh, Mary. Mary is Drew's um, birthday present. I agree. Look at them running down the aisle on their phones. Like, oops. Um, So silly, but I love it. Look at them all clapping. They wanted a private ceremony. They don't really have a lot of friends. They're kind of each other's bestie, so. It's all good. They didn't want a big wedding. They don't feel like a big wedding. I feel like Juliet would be the one with a big wedding at some point, but not her parents. But we're gonna enjoy. Oh, is she crying? She's like, oh, this is so the best day ever. Oh, Mary. Oh my gosh. Who is this? Travis Scott, a fan showed up at her wedding. Oh my God. And he's blocking the view, bro. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Like, no, you have to leave. Kick out of wedding event. Like, absolutely. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna have my daughter do it. Can we kick him out? Burning to death? What the heck? What? It's so hot. Poor dude. Okay, you can change. You can change. I don't care what you wear. Why are you burning to death? Okay, hold on. Jeez, okay. Don't be so dramatic. It's fine. You can get married in your little rando outfit. It's okay. fine. We don't care. It's casual. You better sit down, okay, Travis Scott? If you're gonna be at my wedding, sit down. That's all I gotta say about that. Oh, look at these two tearing up the, of the love. Oh, Romeo's such a lover. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, these two are also loving the love. It's so good. And Travis Scott is here, the creepy fan. And are you a fan too? Oh my God. Yep, Gunther. Some fans have found us at our wedding, which is awkward, but it's fine. Do we have like a dance floor? Is there a dance floor anywhere? There's seriously not even a dance floor. So let's get a dance floor. Dance floor. And we need like a, also we need a, um, a rootin' tootin' dance floor, cute. I think I want the wedding one. Since we're having a wedding and everything, we should might as well do the wedding one. And then we'll have like some music, I think too. But it's it's a low key wedding, you know? It's not the craziest. It's like kind of low key. 
Or is there a green one? Yeah, that one's great. That one's perfect. And then we'll do like a little, maybe like a little speaker or something. I can't believe fans crashed her wedding. It's so true. He's not canceled, just deleted. We could delete him, honestly. I'm kind of like feeling it. Don't tempt me. I will delete him. I've, I've deleted them before and I'll do it again. All right, so we're gonna put these down. And we're gonna put like little dance floor action here. All right, great. So now we can all go over here and dance. So let's kind of gather ceremony activities, like have guests dance, let's dance, baby. We'll listen to, or we'll play, turn on. We're gonna play like the romantic music or whatever, or the country one. We do love country music. We'll do romantic. Oh no, I passed it. There it is, romance. All right, we're all coming in, The the everyone's, coming for the romantic music we're all gonna gather to dance hopefully the fans do not follow get out okay this is family time so let's all dance are we dancing we're not dancing let's like can we like do a sweetheart dance with romeo <gasps> go romeo we'll go dance with romeo don't listen to it okay go dance with him go dance with him go dance with him this is working. I can't tell. It says listen to jazz, which I'm like, that's not exactly what I wanted. It's be hard to dance to together. Okay, hopefully this will work. Yes, go get him. Go get your man's girl. Why is it change station? We were listening to romance. Oh, they're dancing. It's fine. We'll just turn this off. Okay, there we go. They're romantically dancing at their at her parents' wedding. Oh. So cute, and we gotta have our first kiss. Like we gotta have our first kiss right here on the dance floor. I don't care my family surrounding me. Here it is. Yeah, so cute. Chiefs or Ravens? I'm a Chiefs girl because I'm from Missouri. So sorry about it. Brighten his day. Yes, milestone complete. Okay, so we need to. Uh, have a strong romantic relationship with three sims at once. Well, that's gonna be a little bit later. Okay, we're not gonna be juggling people quite yet. Uh, but we will be da we will be like kind of revealing our crush <laughs> of him, maybe flirting with him, sweet talking him. He seems to really like it. Oh, these two are making out. Oh my god, so cute. Where is this other s music? I swear there's like two competing musics going on in this place. And I, I hate it. Oh my God, look at him. Wait, Travis Scott just became an elder overnight. <laughs> he just became an elder and he's like freaking out over our mom who's getting married. This is hilarious. I'm kind of over the music, so I'm gonna kind of delete it, I think. Because it's not working out. It's like, blaring two different songs at once and i can only handle like two songs oh and a zook and a zook okay we're gonna hold hands dad bro get out of the conversation give advice on social bunny posts we don't need your advice go hang out with your date okay go like go you know do an impression or whatever i don't know just leave me alone leave me alone brother i'm trying to close this deal and ask him to be my boyfriend and get with Romeo. I want Romeo and Juliet together. Your rapidly aged was the punishment of the fam bombing the wedding. It's so romantic. Look at them. They're becoming boyfriend girlfriend. Romeo just became the boyfriend of Juliet, and they have this really romantic crush and adoring. He has a crush on her. He has a crush on Juliet. This is so cute. Um, oh my gosh, I love it. It's so romantic. New watcher and I'm loving this. Do you have a link for um, what you have? Yes, I'm on YouTube, uh, Kelsey Dangerous on all social media. Check me out. Yeah, Kelsey Dangerous on YouTube, Kelsey Dangerous on TikTok, Kelsey Dangerous on Twitch, Kelsey Dangerous on Instagram. Anywhere you find content, there I am with the same username. We're having drinks, everybody's having fun. Can you dance, please? 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Bro. Oh god, he just fainted on my dance floor for my wedding. It's like, hello? Music must be playing nearby. Are you kidding me? There was like so much music playing and then I deleted it because it was like too much music and I assumed somewhere else was playing music. Why was it playing music twice? Like, I swear there was two different songs on. It's fine. It's fine. We'll like get the party going again. Let me see where like a good speaker would be for our wedding. The stereo, a little jukebox action. We'll put a jukebox in here. How about that? We'll play the romantic music. Turn on romance. Great. And then we'll dance, okay? We'll have a slow dance with my husband, Drew. Drew debut. Juliet's like, I guess, cooking up some food because she's hungry. Okay. What'd she make? A BLT? Yeah, BLT. That's pretty funny, actually. She went and made a BLT because she was hungry. Drew's coming in because he's dancing with his wife. This fan is killing me. He's like so obsessed. He's so obsessed. Oh my gosh, exchange promise rings. Honestly, so cute. They should definitely do that. And then they break up, obviously. Heartbroken. Upset. Oh my god, there's another fan in here, isn't it? Yeah, Gunther Munch. So annoying. Okay, let's have, like, everybody dance. Let's just have everybody dance. Guests dance. We're all gonna dance. It's part of it. It's part of the party, baby. We're all dancing now, even though she's, like, wanting to... School is stupid. Okay. Well, it teaches important things, and you're literally almost done with school, so give it a break, okay? I'm going to age you up literally today. So we're all dancing together. We're having our wedding ceremony. Mary likes potty humor. Okay, that's funny. Love that for you. Give a speech. Maybe give a speech to Mary. Be like, Mom, I'm so happy that you're happy and you found the love of your life. Look at Romeo celebrating our mom, too. It's so cute. She's such a celeb. I love it. She's like, who, me? The celeb of the hour with my gorgeous husband who I love? Oh, mo oh Mom's giving the speech about her husband. That's so cute. And she's going to serenade him. Oh, my God. Wait. Look at us dancing it up. Mary just became... Martina just became friends with Juliet. That's cute. She's giving some speeches. And now she's going to serenade her husband. So we're going to turn off the music. And the celebrity musician is going to serenade her husband at her wedding. Maybe we'll give him a better fit for it since he's not dying outside anymore in his hot outfit. Okay, here we go. Are you going to serenade him or no? Girl, serenade him. Oh, you blew her kiss. They're so cute. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Why is there a random child here? He, she's also a fan of my mom. Okay. So just all the fans... This is also a child fan. All these fans of my mom have crashed our wedding. So awesome. But let's like mess around in the observatory with my boyfriend. Be like, while my mom is serenading her husband, my dad, we are going to go mess around the observatory. She's like, want to have some alone time? And they decided yes. And they're putting on their hot weather outfits, which is hilarious. And they're going to go mess around at the observatory. <laughs> She's like, I saw there was an observatory. Do you want to go, like, have some private time in it? Um, they're teens, okay? They're going to go do. I know. I know. Literally, her, like, Drew was like, it's about me. She's like, come on in. And they're going to have some private time at the wedding while Drew is flirtily making dinner. Okay. I feel like we got to, like, wrap up. The We're Mary's hanging out practicing football with her son. Okay, well, this is a fan. Do you want to, like, let's sign a little autograph for this fan because she's a, just a little kid. So, of course, oh, she's so cute. She's like, here you go. I'll uh, 
sign an autograph for you too, Corey. Because I love little kid fans. They're cute. Okay, it's all good. Thanks for coming. Oh my god, someone's setting off fireworks over here. The love fireworks from behind this. This is so cute. Steven's running around here, I think. Or no, that's Mary. Mary's over here. Gonna take a nap in the little area here. Where's her boyfriend? I don't know. But she's over here. She's watching the fireworks. She just had a bit of her own fireworks uh, with her bow. So let's end the wedding here. So cute with all the fireworks firing off. Making hearts in the sky. Uh... Where is this in this is in Windenburg? I don't remember where this is. I feel like it could be Windenburg. Let me see, I gotta look around a little bit. Okay. I don't think this is Windenburg. All these it might be. I think it's one of the downtown areas, actually. Um, but we're all getting hungry and sleepy, so let's go home. Oh my gosh, and my mom went to bed. Literally fell asleep. <laughs> She's like, all those fans kind of got me. But it was fun that she did a little serenade. He loved the serenade. He is a little sad that people forgot his wedding and he did not like his wife's speech. He was like, that was a little, like very over the top. Listen, she's not, she's not a speech maker. She's a musician, okay? She tends to let the music talk for her. Drew's coming in. Everybody's going home, running down the street in, the, in this nice part of town. San Machuno. Yeah, I think it's, I think this is, um, I think this is like the, the first apartments place. City Living? I think this is City Living. I don't remember what it's called, the, the area, but I think this is City Living, um, where we were just now for the wedding. Um, didn't, didn't even say goodbye to Romeo. I'm assuming they said goodbye off camera. Um, I didn't see him. So I'm assuming they said goodbye off camera. It was, it was late. I mean, it's like almost 1am and he has school tomorrow. So I don't really blame him. We're going to take a shower and go to bed, but we have a boyfriend and Steven. I'm going to age you up kind of right now, honestly. I'm going to have you age up because MC command in command sage because technically he is older than julia and Juliet's birthday is yeah today so i'm gonna have him age up earlier than that so he's gonna age up happy birthday steven his final thing so he loves horses he's outgoing i think his final his final um trait is going to be, he could be a foodie like his dad. I think he's going to be active because he got into football in high school. But I think his, uh, his aspiration is still going to be the same, which is going to be like to be a jockey. Um, where is it? Fortune? No. It's like career or whatever. Knowledge? No. It's athletic. There it is. Jockey. And he graduated. Congratulations, King. You're all done. Let's clean out the spoiled food and maybe get some more. Dad can make some food. Why don't you cook, serve dinner, some soup? Yeah, let's make some soup. Why not? He's going to make soup for everybody. I love how Mary already went to bed. She's like, I'm done. Good night. Good night. Steven's going to go hang out with the horse. He's checking in with the horse. Of course he is. Does the horse need anything? Let's like scratch its neck and give it a hug. Give it some, give it some apple. He loves his horse. Drew's cooking. And Mary's, Juliet's asleep. Julia is like, I have school tomorrow. It's not funny. I have, I have school. But our boy is taking care of his horse as usual. It just always says horse bed in use. Okay, he can't clean up the horse bed. That's okay. He's taking care of stuff. Now he's going to bed. He's a tired man. Drew is making some food for everybody. He's feeling so flirty. He's like, ah, okay, here's your Burmese soup. Apparently he made it for his son who didn't eat it and then he's gonna go to bed. <laughs> That's pretty funny, honestly. So good. 
And officially, Steven's an adult, so he can kind of go wherever he wants and do whatever he wants. Uh, I just wa fin watched the entire 100 Baby. Nice! Do you have the high school expansion pack? Yes, I really love it. I actually have all the expansion packs. I'm very lucky like that. Uh, I get sent a lot of them from EA and the other ones I tend to buy. Actually, I get, uh, lately I've been getting all of them from EA, so that was, has been nice. But in the back in the beginning, I bought all of mine. Um, they should have the fancy trash can so Juliet can afford the castle. They are close to being able to afford the castle. Um, you're not wrong. Having the fancy trash can would probably help, huh? Let's see. We are, I was planning on just faking it. Like, just letting her get the castle. But, like, not giving her a lot of furniture and then making her work for it. But we can add the trash can if we think it's going to help a lot. Girl, go use the toilet. You need to use it. Go use the toilet, girl. No one is telling you to go. Okay, we're gonna go join Juliet at school. Yay, her last day of school before she ages up. Um, it's gonna be so tragic. She's hardly had any time with her bow. Ugh, before they're gonna go like long distance is so sad. She's aging up today, okay. She really needs to use the toilet, girl. Go to the bathroom for sure. Go pee like a champion. I wonder where if, if her boyfriend's here. Is he older? How much? Like, what age is he at? Because, like, he might... Romeo... He's still a teen. He's... Oh. Yeah, he's aging up actually today, too. So he will be aging up at the same time as her. So that's convenient. He'll be a young adult the same. Oh my gosh, there he is. He's so cute. They're going to probably make out at school. Abigail said, I heard you and Romeo started dating. Congrats on landing a new boyfriend. Thanks, Abigail. I'm pretty happy about it. I'm going to go kiss him. I'm going to go kiss him. Mess around and shower. I think they should do like a suave kiss in the hallway. Just like make out in the hallway. So high school. I love it. Why is he so tense? Oh my gosh, why is this man crying? She's kissing him in in the um uh, in the hallway, hopefully flattering him, being enticing. You know, kissing his cheek. We obviously don't care about the other people that are in this conversation with my boyfriend. We just went in and was like, isn't he so cute? They are submitted. Their friendship was so high and now their romance is so high. It went high so quickly too. Oh, these two are so cute the way he looks at her. Ugh, I really don't want them to break up. <laughs> But they're gonna have to. It's so sad. Look at them. Ugh. Oh. Them making out in the hallway. So cute. He's so smitten, too. No, oh, they're so cute. Why do they have to? Well, they have to because she has to finish her serial romantic aspiration. And she has to kiss 10 Sims and have a strong romantic relationship with three Sims at once. And I don't think that's fair to Romeo for her to have to do that to him, which is why I've decided that they're going to break up. Because <laughs> I couldn't get all that done in high school, and that's her requirement. So it's part of the story that we're going to have to make happen. I know they're such a perfect couple. They really are, but it's part of the challenge to have this requirement uh, all done. It's weird not having my brother at school with me. So strange. I'm like, where's my brother? Oh, wait. <laughs> hey, Kate. Hey, Sophie. How you guys doing? Laura A, thanks for the fire. Lexi Pro, thanks for the team bracelet and the heart me. What's with all the weird outfits? I'm pretty sure the teens all wear their, like, school stuff on, like, certain days. Like, there's, like, like the team uniform of, like, the football team or whatever. I think it's, like, a football thing. I don't know. Is it, like, a day... Oh, yeah, football team sports day. So it's football team sports day, so they're all wearing their football merch to celebrate the football team. And the cheer squad's wearing the cheer merch. So there you have it. We're in business class. We're learning business things. Luckily, she's learning um, more charisma, so that's nice. We've been working on our comedy and charisma skills. 
Now we gotta go get some food. Let's get some fried chicken sliders. Oh my God, that sounds really good. I'm pretty hungry actually. I should order myself lunch. I'm getting hungry. Actually, I should. If I order myself lunch now, by the time I finish streaming, it'll be here. Perfection. The three jackets and a line are very funny. Oh my gosh, I know. They really do just say, like, let's all wear the same thing. It's not same but different. It's same but same, you know? Which is kind of funny. I don't hate it, though. Perfect. I ordered my lunch. I see her having children a little older. Yeah, she's going to have them probably a little older. She might, I don't know. She might go hot and heavy with some Sims pretty quick. So we'll see how it goes down with the serial romantic trait. But she might, her mom had them really young. So it might be fun to just try it a little different. But, oh, joke about fashion, deep conversation. But yeah. <laughs> They're so cute. I I am gonna be sad to break them up. I'm not gonna lie. It's not gonna be fun for me to break them up. I think we're gonna wait like an episode or two, but we're gonna have to get this this uh serial romantic thing underway. They get back together once she's done with their serial romantic goal. That's correct. That's the plan. Is they're gonna get back together? Um, in the future. No, that they are gonna get back together in the future. One of the other requirements for the challenge is that she has kids with one of her, uh, her, her teen love, which is him. So, oh my god, they just keep kissing. They're so funny. Oh, she needs to have a birthday party, too. Oh my gosh, they're so smitten, kitten. They really need a picture together. Oh my gosh, so true. They should get a picture together. Maybe she should ask him on a date. Honestly, would I could see her not having a big birthday party and just like going on one date with him for the, her birthday. So maybe we'll do that after um, work, after school today. We'll just have like a low key birthday with our boyfriend. All my Sims always end up having like big parties with their friends for their birthdays, but I think it'd be sweet to have like just a little, just them two. Oh, they're so cute. Little selfies at school. Oh. <laughs> I haven't seen this pose with a couple yet, and it's so cute. I'm gonna take two just in case one of them's rough. Oh, they're so cute. They're so in love. Oh my god, my two faves. I love his little gap in his tooth, too. They're so sweet. Uh, we're on Gen 2, so she's gonna be having Gen 3. I want to say in a couple episodes. Hopefully we get the serial aspiration pr done pretty fast. Oh my God. She just wants to kiss him. He's like trying to sit down and study. And she's like, I'm going to go kiss you. <laughs> get back up. <laughs> I didn't even ask her to kiss him. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. Look at him. He's like, okay, I'm going to go do something. She's like, okay. Okay, have fun. She's just standing there still. <laughs> she wants to show him a funny video. She's like, wait. I had a TikTok I want to show you. She's deep in love. She's she's so gone. <laughs> I don't she was never like this like with her ex, that's for sure. She was never like that with her ex-girlfriend. Uh okay. Where she's like kind of tired. What's this? She wants to finish writing a book. She can start writing a book. I think she's doing a social media career. Is what we're going to have her do. Um, or like an entertainment career. Uh, are they boyfriend, girlfriend yet? Yeah, yes, they are officially boyfriend, girlfriend. Oh, wait, you know what? We can go upstairs for the next 44 minutes and work on our um, comedy skill. So I'm going to do that, actually. Actually, instead of that, I'm going to have her go into the bathroom and just work on her practice speech so she can work on her charisma. We can leave our boyfriend alone for like two seconds, you know, you to work on... What are you doing in here, Jace? Jace, go away. I'm working here. He's like, I need to use to wash my hands. Look at him all sad. Like, I wanted to wash my hands. Okay. She she got her charisma up a little, which is good. Which is good. Oh, my gosh. They're so cute. Mary's off to work. Good luck, Mary. Work hard, you crushed it. Actually, you don't have to work hard. You can work normal because you're at the top of your career. We're working at school. She's working on her charisma again, which is perfect. 
Learning charisma in class? I'm gonna miss this high school thing. She's so flirty. Cause her, she shared a sweet touch of another sim and she feels a deep connection with him. But she's also so anxious. She's like, I have just such a crush on him. I never know what to say. But we are going to ask him on a date. So let's flirtation. Or is it affection? Ask on date. Yeah, go ask him on a date. Be like, do you want to go on a date with me for my birthday? And he says, yes. So this is the second era. So we're only on uh, number two. All right, we're going to go on a date to... We could go to the library. We could go to this. I feel like I want to go somewhere different. So we could go to Tartosa for the date. It's her birthday. Where would she go for her birthday? Hmm, 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 little, little beachside bar action. What's feeling gold? You know what I feel like? They could go kind of like, go somewhere and then she ends up wanting to move there. This is fear, fearless error. So maybe this kind of inspires her and he's like, you should do it. You should move here. And she'd be like, will you move with me? And he's like, I can't. I can't move. I gotta stay with my family for X, Y, Z reason. Maybe he has like little siblings. He's like, I can't leave. Maybe he has a single mom with little siblings. He needs to help take care of his siblings. <laughs> How dare I just invent that in my mind. Okay, so where do we want her to end up? Maybe Windenburg? That's where I built the castle. So I mean like, if they ended up somewhere, I feel like Windenburg would be cute. Maybe they go to a cafe or like a little bar or something. Like a cafe would be cute. <laughs> I'm like hurting my actual old feelings. A single mom who works two jobs, who loves her kids and never stops. Exactly. Let's go to a cafe. Or no, let's go to this. Well, they're they're teens. They can't go to a bar yet. <laughs> We're gonna go to a cafe. I'm loving the drama, even though it's gonna be heartbreaking. I know. I'm not. I'm not looking forward to this. Ah, I just started watching the Nancy Drew TV show, and I wasn't prepared for it to be spooky. Oh, what Nancy Drew TV show? Tell me everything. Is it new? But it's on a Wednesday in a cafe. Oh, oh, on a Wednesday in a cafe. It is Thursday though, but like actually though. I'm gonna hold hands. Uh, maybe they reunite on a Wednesday in a cafe. Although that's not her era, but it's fine. Romeo, take me somewhere we can be alone. They're gonna exchange promise rings on her birthday. Of course they are. I'm, I'm breaking my own heart with this. Why would I have them exchange promise rings? Oh, and he said yes. He just promised himself to Juliet and he gave her a rose. <laughs> Hmm. They're so cute. And he's romantic. <laughs> Attempt to seduce him because that's one of our requirements. And we got to sit and talk to him at the cafe. Maybe we'll sit outside. Like sit here together under the little umbrella. So cute. <laughs> Look at her like pop, you know, like just showing off a little bit. Her little leg. Showing some leg for her boy. Okay, let's chat with him. Well, sit, sit here with me. Sit here with me. Sit, sit down, Romeo. Romeo. Okay. I wanted them to sit at the same table, but that's fine. Let's um, let's flirt a bit. Cause we gotta sit and talk. Okay, she's moving to his table. Perfect. I'm glad. Yeah, move to his table and chat with him a bit. Okay, and now we gotta make some jokes. We're gonna tell him all our jokes, which is how they first like started liking each other, is that she would tell him all her jokes and he thought she was funny. We think she's so funny. Tell a funny story. She'll help this will help with her like comedy skill too. Joke about fashion. Joke about facial hair. We're just doing all the jokes. <laughs> Look at him cracking up with him. And it was rain that caused them to fall in love. Oh my gosh. Ugh. 
Um, what would be the problem for them to break up? She's gonna move away. She's like, so they went out of town. They went on a little date to a cafe in a different city. And she's gonna move far away and they don't want to do long distance. So they're gonna break up instead of stay together. Cause they're really young too. And so when she moves here, It'll be, it'll be over for them for now until he shows back up in her life much later. But I think to deal with the drama of breaking up with Romeo, she's going to be a bit of a player because she won't, she just won't care about anyone the way that she cared about him. Oh, she's just so sad. Ugh, look at these two. They're too cute. Breaking my heart. My heart. She does match this world so perfectly. They are definitely not going to be living in the castle together. Not at first. No. No, no, no. Because she's gotta she's gotta do her her uh stuff. But she, he loves her hilarious repartee. He finds her super duper funny. They gotta become playful at the same time and they just haven't. She's still telling him jokes. Even though like she's clipping inside of him, which is awkward. Is he getting a coffee? What's going on in here? Okay, there is a werewolf that is rampaging. I thought I said that I don't want that. Can play. Like pack settings. I'm pretty sure I put that on that I don't want werewolves. Okay, yeah. No werewolves, please. I don't want werewolves in this let's play. At least not right now. You know? Jovi. Delso. Tribs. Iba. Himna. Bazib. Uh, Punk. Bold pickup line. That's fun. But they had a great, like, party. I wish I could just buy a cake for her to, like, blow out the candles. But there's no cake. Unless I could, like, cook one? Is there anything upstairs? There is not. It's just aesthetics. Okay. Like, where could I get a cake? You know, man. What, what's a girl got to do to get a cake? around here. Do I put like a tiny little kitchen in the back over here? Maybe. Maybe I put a tiny little kitchen to make a cake. No, I want the like nice version. There you go. Put it right here. Put like a little, little fridge moment over here. I'm gonna go maybe I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter what the fridge is because it doesn't really belong here anyway. But we're gonna bake a cake. I think we can do it together. Okay, we're gonna cook. I think, no, we have to cook it together. Cook together with Romeo, yeah. We're gonna cook her cake together, her birthday cake. Yeah, we're gonna cook our birthday cake with him. He's gonna help us cook a birthday cake for ourselves. And then they're gonna split the cake because they're both gonna age up on the same day, which is cute. So we're gonna gather the group for cooking. They're so flirty, they're so cute. This is a multi, oh my God. They're both singing it. This is a this is a ten generation challenge. We're on generation two, but like we're kind of midway through generation two, so that's exciting. We're gonna start thinking about our speak now third gen, but we're gonna make a cake together. So cute! I love when my sons make cakes together. Where are you guys going? Okay, they're gonna go in here to cook the cake together. I guess super weird, but all right. She's okay, and he's helping over there. Okay. This is so glitched. I guess I should have given them more counter space, but it is what it is. We're gonna make our birthday cake as a, as a group. There we go. Okay, they're together now again. I was like, why, why? But it's fine, it's fine. And we're gonna take a birthday picture? Sure, that'd be cute. I talked to your dad, go pick out a white dress. Maisie Grobe, Crabelle. Baby, just say yes, exactly. Yes, exactly, Katsune Meg. It just is, it just fits so perfectly with like the requirements of the challenge. Mars, thank you so much for waiting and asking to take a deep breath. We're gonna take a deep breath in. We're gonna hold it for a second and we're gonna let it out. And good be Mary, thank you so much for asking. A stretch, I'm gonna stretch my neck. And I'm gonna go back the opposite way. 
They really do be just waiting on that cake. Sick of poos. Thought it would be done already. There it goes. Yay, our birthday cake's done. All right, let's add some birthday candles. Oh, it's gotta be in the middle of the counter to do that, okay. Let's add some birthday candles and do some birthday time. We're gonna both age both of the Sims up. So I'm going to click here. Oh, right, my dad's calling to chat for my birthday, so I'll answer the phone, but let's age up. Romeo first. So we're aging up Romeo. He's going to age up. Happy birthday, Romeo! Happy birthday! We're going to add some birthday candles. Yay! Oh my gosh, he aged up. He's now an adult. Let's turn off our family call with our dad. Oh, he needs to pee. And I have work. But give me a second. I'm not doing work right now. We're going to blow out the candles. I think that ages me up, right? Yeah. Okay. Happy birthday, Juliet. She's an adult <laughs> now. Okay, she's an adult now. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I don't need this from you right now. Blow out your candles. Go away. Best Rico, you best back off. It's my birthday. Okay, I don't know where my boyfriend just ran off to. Oh, he need to pee. Fair enough. But we're aging up. Julia aged up. She is creative, self-assured. And I'm going to say, I think she's like fairly romantic. So I think she's a romantic and her, I think her requirement is creativity. Let me double check. Oh, no, no, no. Her romantic aspiration. How did I literally, we were just talking about it. Serial romantic. Still working on that. Perfect. Okay, we're still working on that. Work assignments, advertise side hustle. No, we're not going to do that. I think she's going to actually kind of fall off of that career, to be honest. But she's aged up. Our girl is a young adult oh. now. She's all ready to move out. Jay, creative nerd, thank you so much for gifting 10 gifted subs to the community. That is super duper generous. If you just got gifted a sub, make sure to say a huge thank you to Jay. I really appreciate your support. That's so kind. And welcome to all the new followers on uh, TikTok. I love to see you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Jay White, thank you so much for the fall candle in the rose. And Katie, thank you so much for the team bracelet. I love it, guys. You guys are so generous today. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's get a slice of cake with my boyfriend here for our, bo our joint birthday. He grabbed his from the toilet through the wall. So that's fun. So fun. She's eating the cake because she's a little hungry. She also probably needs to, okay, this rando woman that we don't know, Layla, also grabbed a piece of my cake. And we're gonna hang out with our boyfriend again. Oh my God, they can try for a baby in the bush. She could get pregnant early. I don't want her to though. Cause she does has to be like more of a serial romantic. And I, I feel like that would make it everything complicated, but it could have been a swerve. It could have been a swerve into a new thing. Could, could have, would have, should have, you know, but uh, I don't think that's going to be our story for today. <laughs> I kind of wanted to do it. I thought about it. I was like, but I don't think she would have broken up then. Like, I just don't think they would break up if that were the case, unless they broke up before she knew she was pregnant. Which would make sense, but I feel like that's just too quick. Save the bush for later. No vote. I am the supreme decider of, of, of the story right now. But maybe we'll vote a little later. Maybe that's why she moved away. Can we give Romeo makeover? Oh, we want a little Romeo makeover. We'll give him makeover before we meet him again. This is his high school fit. He's kind of still in school. And our date is over. I don't think we got to say goodbye to Romeo, but the Sims just do be like that sometimes. So we're just gonna go home. We'll say that they said goodbye after their birthday together. And it's TV season premiere night. So we've got two young adults in the house, kinda, kinda after school, you know, make, figuring out what they wanna do in the world. But you know, I feel like she really enjoyed her time at Win Windenburg and she's like, hey, this might be pretty cool. Oh my gosh, another story thing that we could do is that maybe, maybe, okay, Drew might have inherited the castle 
and that's why they move in and they don't have to afford it but there's like nothing in there it's like a decrepit castle and then it's kind of like not a rags to riches but it's like kind of like a we have to decorate over time kind of vibe which I kind of love. Maybe our family inherited the castle and she had an opportunity to go live in a castle in Windenburg and she couldn't say no. So she decided to do it and she had to break up with her boyfriend to go. I think that could be kind of a fun, you know, we, we added it to the story. Yeah, Drew gifted the castle to the kids. He doesn't want to move because, you know, him and Mary's lives are here, but he said, you know, I just got inherited this random castle in Europe do you guys want to go live there? You know. Oh, Chewy. Chewy was the was the sword in the way. He wanted to he lay under the curtains and the sword was in the way. <laughs> Poor baby. A reversal wedding present, exactly. I, I'm assuming there was a death in the family and that someone like gave them the castle i don't think that like it's it's kind of a big castle though i'm not gonna lie it's gonna be kind of fun to live there um juliet why don't you go to bed it's it's late steven's gonna go to bed mom is going to go to bed because it's late for her too i don't know what the accent's about drew's working hard he needs to level up his mixology skill he's never gonna get a he's never gonna get, go beyond caterer if he doesn't Maybe we'll level it up. I feel like we need like a bar or something for him to practice on. Bar. You know, I don't want to leave him in the lurch. You gotta give him like options. We'll just get like a cute little outdoor bar kind of vibe that he has on the side of the house to kind of practice. Or maybe in the back, in the backyard. With the trash can and the, you know, fire pit. We could make it a whole vibe. I'm not going to, but we could. It could be a vibe. It's just not right now, but that doesn't mean it won't be. Okay, we're gonna do that one with the white Christmas lights. It's cute. All right. Yeah, but Drew will, Drew will probably work on that at some point. Teardrop the horse. And Drew brought home some money. Poor Drew needs a shower, needs some food, and needs some bed. So we'll take care of his needs really quick. Our dad, oh, such a good guy. Did you build the house? We did build two different castles. I like the second one, but it's definitely not done. <laughs> But we'll have, we'll maybe have to like add to it as we go. Um, but yeah, there's our guy. Is my food coming soon? It's headed my way. Great, my food's gonna be here soon. Oh my gosh, hello. Oh my goodness. Maybe we'll hire a repair service. 400 simoleons is kind of a lot right now. Especially since the kids are going to move out soon. Oh, is it spicy? He kind of made like a face like it's hot. Oh yeah, it's spicy. I think he overdid it on the spice, which is kind of funny. He's like, ugh, I made a very spicy one. Here's here's some simoleons. We're getting some simoleons now. With the, with the, um, we're going to repair that in the morning, I think. One of us will. But for now, Juliet sleeps in her childhood bedroom with her, t not twin, with her older brother. It's almost her mom's birthday. It's a short lifespan. We being quick, okay? What did you order? I got a little um, Poke Bowl. TV season premiere night was awful because nobody watched the TV season premiere. Sorry. We didn't care. Ah! Um, yeah, but... We married Drew. So much has happened. Uh, save it before she moves and then have a fun night together to say goodbye, but she doesn't find out until after she leaves that she's having his baby. <gasps> that is so much drama. But then like, I don't know. I just couldn't see Juliet being the type to have a kid and be raising a kid, but then also be dating three people at once. That just seems way too chaotic for her. I just, I just don't think it's in her personality. She's just kind of, she's always been kind of like a flirt, but she's like pretty even keeled. Um, 
Yeah, I just don't think that's her vibe. So, unfortunately, I'm going to say she's not going to get pregnant quite yet. I want to say that there won't be an accidental pregnancy, okay? Maybe he can't, comes to town to visit once while she's dating a bunch of people. Something happens, okay? I'm just saying. There might be an accidental pregnancy sooner than we expect it. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be right away. Okay? Okay. I feel like it would mess up the storyline that I perfectly laid out. Um, oh, he's already fixing it. Oh, that's so sweet. Good job, Steven. What a sweetie pie. He's such a good kid. He autonomously did that. Name me another sim that would do that. I don't. I can't. Repair it, King. I can't believe he was repairing it and the sims like... Or was he cleaning it? I think he might have been cleaning it. Regardless. He's such a good kid. There we go. And why don't you mop that up a bit too? I know. He's like, ugh, it's not very neat around here and I don't like it. Alright, someone else can... Oh, I think they're delivering my food now. Yes. Someone else can mop the floor. Haspa, haspa. And the food is too spicy. Okay, Juliet, you gotta wake up and grab some leftovers here of the of your dad's new spicy soup. It'll be great. What do you have in mind for Stevens' future? You know, I don't have anything certain in mind for Stevens. If you guys have ideas, we're all ears. Stevens gonna be, you know, kind of a a secondary character for the most part. Oh my god, I love their like spicy, like bark, bark. <laughs> I'm thinking of Chewy. Spicy like like reactions. It's so cute. Uh, fire reactions. Libracorn, thank you for reminding me to save, please. I'm saving right here. Um, yes, Chewy Brianna is like kind of like hello alert alert. There is a there is person at the door, mom. Alert alert. Let's go take a shower. But it's getting to that time where we're kind of going to make some decisions here about her life. Ugh. She's definitely going to quit her micro influencer job, I think. Or, you know what? She could keep it and be, continue to be a influencer. Although, I think that's like a, like a low-key job. Let me look at the jobs. Business. Find a job. Because I think this is a part-time one. And I kind of want her to have a full-time job. So let's let's see what our options are here. Okay, detective, doctor. No, we're gonna do like entertainment or social media. Social media. I think she's gonna become a media intern. I think maybe also she gets a job out there and it just kind of all falls into place. You know, so like, it's like, of course she's gonna go. I think she should quit her current job though. No beam. So quit, quit your job, girl. You deserve it. She's calling up rap right now. She's like, hey, I don't want to be a macro influencer anymore. I quit this influencer career. It wasn't for her. You know, she didn't, she didn't really, she was never super passionate about it. Um, and Chewy will not stop barking. So I might just leave this one right here. She just quit her job. Um, we're going to find out in the next episode that our family inherited a castle and they might go, or they go, she and her brother are going to take the adventure of a lifetime and move there. But unfortunately she'll be leaving the love of her life, her Romeo behind. All of that will happen unfold in the next one. When I see you guys on Tuesday, I hope you guys had so much fun on this Sunday stream. It was so much fun hanging out with you guys. I, um, definitely love spending time together and streaming together. If you are new here and you had a good time, make sure to hit that follow button. I want to see you back again for the next installment of the story. If you didn't get to see the earlier parts of the story, don't worry. You can catch up on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash more Kelsey in Uh, go hit a follow button there if you want. Uh, but I would love to see you guys here. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, it was great spending time with you guys and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it is for you around the world. It was so great to hang and I'll see you next time. Bye. Obligatory awkward moment while I post the end of life. <laughs> okay, bye guys.